So what we have here now is the sketch so far. Um, it's creating uh, two lines and a fillet between these lines and we are selecting the lines using the select function. And uh, what we need to do now is to create the profile in order to do the swept feature. So in order to create the profile we need a sketch plane. And where do we need to create a sketch plane? Well we need to create it on a line at some point. Um, so let's see how this should be done. So let's write to do sketch plane and uh, profile sketch. And then we can erase these once we have uh, programmed them. So model dot and what should we use here? Um, well, we need we need we need a point. And once we have a point, then we can grab this create plane at surface no fixed no per curve and pass point. That's what we're going to use. And we can see at the arguments it takes origin at curve as boolean auto size as boolean. So this function works by selecting the two previous entities of a sketch and then we can call this function and it should create a plane at that uh, location. So for now let's insert this and comment it out and let's create a point. So dim uh, pt1 as sketch point equals and then we can grab the line one dot and get start point or end point it doesn't matter so let's choose the uh, start point of line one and let's see if there's any arguments to that one there are none okay so now we have a point and a line, so now we need to select both of them. So the selection for the line one we already have here. And then we need to do pt1.select. And we can use this one or just select. And we will append, so true. Okay, and now let's try this out. So put a breakpoint here and stop and run again. Select the line, switch back to solid, there, there's the line selected. And select the point, go back, and we see that the point has been selected and that this is the start point. Great, so this works. Exit the debugger, and now we can run this last bit here model.create plane per curve and pass point and we send in uh, origin at curve that's true so we'll we will create a origin at the curve auto size as boolean true it's just going to create the size for that thing okay so what else okay let's debug it start just run through and check solid and there's the plane uh, so it shows up at the proper place but it's just not um, it doesn't show up until we select it so stop and then we need to select it in order to create a profile sketch so underneath the profile sketch here we will do well first we need to actually grab it so you can either create the plane um, as an entity. So let, let's do that. So dim plane one, or actually just plane because we're not going to create more planes. Dim plane as entity equals to the plane. And once we have that, we can go plane dot 
select and just do false here so now it should be selected and let's debug this and step through so there's the plane and now it should be selected and if you go back we can see clearly it is selected all right so <clears throat> for the profile now what needs to be done well we need to insert a sketch on this plane uh, so we have it already selected so we can go ahead and create a sketch and in order to create a sketch uh, the best thing is to use a sketch manager so we will the sketch manager is found on the model dot sketch manager and we should create a an object really in order to grab this one so dim sketch mgr equal to model dot sketch manager and then we can access the functions within sketch manager so sketch mgr dot create sketch no not create insert insert sketch there we go and update edit rebuild that's false set that to false in the beginning so this sketch is now going to be created on this plane here okay and then again in the sketch manager now we can create a circle here so this circle takes the x y and z position and those are now relative so you can go ahead and type 0 0 0 because that would they, would they will be relative to our uh, sketch plane and if you type some because this is a 2d 2d thing now if you type something in z i'm not sure what's going to happen here be dragons okay so that's the uh, X position. Now the radius is going to be created by just going uh, some value in the X direction. So let's see the radius could be for instance 10 millimeters. Would that be too much? Probably not. Let's go 5. So 5 over 1000 in the x direction 0 in the y and 0 in the z okay so that's uh, sketch one then we will create another one which has that's a wrong button uh, which has a, a slightly larger diameter of let's say seven and then we have to exit the sketch by going sketch manager dot insert sketch true like so and we can step through this so let's see here now we are now we are supposedly inside the sketch you can check that there we go sketch one is created and we are inserting the first circle you can see clearly that it has been created and the second circle has also been created and then exit the sketch and there we go there's our sketch with the two profile all right so there you go that's how you create a sketch on a curve perpendicular to a curve